All right, oh, so we want to go practice. to the perfect practice. Yeah, okay, perfect. is that we want to go through the molar mass here, right? So the molar mass of C3H8, mm -hmm. we're going to say grams of C3H8 in one mole of C3H8. Okay, to do this now, what we need to do is we need to figure out what is the molar mass of C3H8. So on my calculator, there are three, P3? What in the world? There's 3 times 12, the weight of carbon is 12, plus 8. Plus eight. Yeah, I want to say 8, yeah. yeah. And that gives us a molar mass of 44 grams. Now look at my Pringles potato chip bag. Now compared to what we saw, it's totally full. Boyle's Law in action. How's that Boyle's Law? Well, you see the gas inside, the pressure is the same. I'm breathing hard. The pressure is the same, but the external pressure at this high altitude is lower, and therefore the molecules. Here, I'll try and show. You. All right, so we're really close here. Almost all my ice is melted, so we got a little bit of an increase, and that's. Yeah, because it, it's hard. The thermometer has a hard time measuring. So it's all the energy is being used to melt that ice, and there's right. hardly and now any ice left. All my ice is gone. So we should see a pretty steep increase in the temperature of this water now that all the yeah, ice is gone. Yeah, I can see that line. It's going up That's and up and up, isn't up it? Look at that there, right, than right it there. It's undergoing its phase change. Going straight up. So right here, typically we consider it flat right here. And it's close enough to being flat, but the temperature is just rising and rising and rising yeah, that's as the really energy fast. here source from the hot plate. Ooh, that's hot. That hot plate um, is uh, causing it to rise. Yeah, so it's going way up quite fast. There's a new word here, something called the specific heat, and we're going to learn about that right. a little bit later. But that's abbreviated C. And, and it's, it's also called heat capacity. Heat capacity. Right, that's so correct. two different terms, specific heat and heat capacity are the same thing. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so there's an important equation that called the thermal energy equation. And this is the equation. Q is equal to mc delta T, where Q is your energy. Yep, or your heat measured in joules. And that'll be in joules. Okay. M is the mass. The mass. C is this new thing we're talking about. It's called the heat capacity or the specific heat. Sometimes called the specific heat capacity. Right. And then we've got a funny looking symbol there, Mr. Yeah, Samson. delta. Delta means change, and T is temperature. So that's our change in temperature. That's the change. What do you mean by change in temperature? Well, you have your, your initial temperature and your final temperature, and you subtract them, and you get your change in temperature. So if it goes from 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. the delta T is five. would be 5 degrees. Let's look at our hydrogen. One, two, three, four hydrogens on this side of the arrow. Over here, we have one, two hydrogens on that side of the arrow. If I have four on one side and I have two on the other side, that equation is not balanced. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce another water molecule here, all right? So now I have one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms, and I still have one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms on this side of the equation. So our hydrogen now is balanced. 